coronavirus coverage in the big country. COVID-19 is still pretty active here, and there's been an uptick in cases just this week. K-Texas reporter Marley Malenfant tells us if Taylor County is facing yet another COVID-19 surge. In Taylor County, there are currently 266 active cases, according to the Taylor County COVID-19 dashboard. The dominant variant in the U.S. is the BA2 Omicron subvariant, also known as Stealth Omicron. 38 new cases were reported Tuesday. Last week, there were a total of 186 cases. Hendrick Health Chief Nursing Officer Susan Greenwood says the current cases of COVID aren't as strenuous as previous variants. The nice thing about COVID right now is the strains that are spreading are very mild in nature. Um, we have gotten down to zero hospitalizations. I, I believe this morning we have four or five throughout the entire system of three campuses. Um, they're not as severely ill as they have been in the past. While the variants aren't as strong, it's important to keep practicing those COVID precautions, says Greenwood. I think the take home message is continue to be diligent, wash your hands, um, you know, cover yourself if you're coughing, if you have some cold symptoms, test yourself so that you can protect um, others from spreading. While COVID-19 will remain a concern, Greenwood says she doubts there will be a surge this summer. I believe that we're we're going to stay low for quite some time. I know that there's a prediction that we'll have a surge um, this fall. Um, as we've seen through the last two and a half years of COVID, that's all we can do is predict. And sometimes our predictions uh, come about, sometimes they don't, sometimes things surprise us. Um, the information that we're getting over time is con continually changing. I'm Marley Malenfant, K Texas News.